Hi, Kevin Koop here, and this is FaceTime with the Content Guy. You know, there was a piece in the uh, New York Times this week that caught my attention. It was about a Seattle-based uh, investor, entrepreneur, named uh, Richard Barton. And he's been part of a lot of interesting startups, things like Glassdoor and, and Zillow and Expedia. And according to the story, and let me quote here, he's a staunch believer, the New York Times wrote, in the opportunities afforded by giving consumers access to data, including Yelp-like reviews and prices that did not exist before or were closely guarded by professionals. In conversation, he blends business buzzwords like transparency, the transparency and opacity with the language of liberation movements using the words power to the people to describe the philosophy behind many of his businesses. I find that pretty interesting. If we're doing things for regular folks that make their lives better and save them money and give them transparency, he says, we're on the side of the angels. And here's the quote from Barton that I think really caught my attention. He said, we live in fear and awe of consumers. Now that's exactly what every retailer and every marketer should do. You know, I'm not a, uh, a real fan of taking business advice, uh, retail advice that is, from Wall Street. I'm much more interested in Main Street than Wall Street. But I think that the, his approach is absolutely right. You've got to pay attention to data. You've got to not only mine the data to know what you should do, but you also have to pay attention to providing consumers with the data that they want and need to make decisions, even if it's before they need it. Now, it's also interesting, I was talking to a friend of mine uh, the other day about investments and things like that, and just trying to get a sense of his investment philosophy. And he wrote me in an email something which I thought was kind of interesting. He was writing about investment opportunities. He said the following. He said, investors always say they want opportunity, but the fact is that opportunity is only created when enough investors don't want something, either because they're scared or because the investment is out of fashion and the price falls too low. Real opportunity, he wrote, is unattractive to most investors, and a great investment opportunity like 2008 is positively hideous. On the other hand, a soaring market like in 2013, while quite, quite gorgeous, presents little opportunity. At the end of the day, what investors really need is a more volatile, less than beautiful environment. And boy, I thought that was really interesting. I'd never thought about investments in that context before, and I think it's a really interesting connection to be made with retailing and what retailing, re retailers have to do in a very, very tough environment. The fact of the matter is this is tough, right? There's, a, you know, the, the, the middle class is, is contracting. Uh, people at the lower end of the economic spectrum have less money than ever to spend on, on dis less disposable income, less money to spend on food, less money to spend on most things. And at the same time, there's a lot more competition out there for those dollars. It's very, very tough. But this is the time when the savvy uh, retailer, the, the retailer who's you know, really going to try and make a difference, this is not the time where you can say, and say, let's go back to fundamentals. I really hate that phrase, back to fundamentals. If you're not doing the fundamentals and you're not doing them really, really well, then you don't have any business being in business. No, this is the time where you go beyond the fundamentals and you say, okay, what, uh, what opportunities can we identify that nobody else is paying attention, attention to? How can we look at things in a different kind of way? You know, and uh, how do we how do we you know find those moments that other people are not identifying and do something special using data, empowering consumers, making connections with them that are very very different. And yeah, this is hard. But in the words of the great Jimmy Dugan, if it were easy, everybody could do it. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this Thursday morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.